Indonesia is running towards sustainable development goals, focusing on the improvement of several sectors, such as gender equality and education by 2030. Yet child marriage keeps happening in this country for the past few years. A child is categorized as someone aged 0 to 18 years old based on Indonesia Constitution Number no. 23, year 2002, about child protection. And child marriage, according to UNICEF, is a formal marriage or informal union between child under 18 years old with one another or an adult. In 2018, one among nine Indonesian girls got married before turning 18, which equals to more than 1.2 million. Some did not officially register their marriage. While in 2019, the Supreme Court received more than 24 marriage dispensation, a legal permit for people to get married under 18 years old. It is a devastating number, but let's take a look closer. If we see the province data, many child marriage practices happened in South Kalimantan in the past five years. We had a chance to visit one of the villages there named Baru, a part of Danau Panggang District, Hulu Sungai Utara Regency. In this small village, only 1,350 population and child marriage has become a common thing. We're in Hulu Sungai Utara Regency, where last year, according to South Kalimantan's Women Empowerment and Child Protection Office, child marriage happened to 98 girls under 19 years old here. This number was the highest among other regencies and cities in South Kalimantan. And here is our story from one of the villages in Hulu Sungai Utara Regency. Baru village is almost 170 kilometers from the capital city Banjarmasin, which equals five hours car ride. It also takes time to reach from Hulu Sungai Utara city center, as we need 40 minutes car ride and 10 minutes boat ride upon arriving here. This should not come as a surprise because this village does not have a proper infrastructure and resources. medical facilities, and school building after junior high, while water resource is also limited. But Baru is not an isolated village, as technology moved fast in here. In fact, some child marriages started from social media interactions. This is Naima, a housewife who was approached by her husband through Facebook. She tied the knot at age 14 with a man 9 years older than her, after 6 months of dating. At first, she was unsure of getting married early, and yet, she gave in upon discussion with her mother. Nikah yuk! Wow! Terus Naima, pas denger itu, Naima bilang apa? Tunggu dulu. Tunggu dulu? Kenapa tunggu dulu? Kenapa tunggu? Pikir dulu. <laughs> Ma, ada yang hendak serius kayak gitu. Terus kata ibu? <laughs> kayak apa orangnya? Jisidin. Terus? Jilin orangnya baik-baik. We also met Salimah and Rahmat who have known each other through the same social media platform. Both came from different villages and decided to date for two years. Salimah was 16 when she got married with 20 years old Rahmat. Now, they already have four months old daughter. Kenapa kamu suka sama Rahmat? Kenapa kamu mau sama Rahmat? Kena <laughs> <laughs> <Nggak> cinta. <laughs> Apa sih karena Rahmat baik? Apa? 
baik perhatian terus Rahmat kenapa mau memasari mas karena sayang hmm. kenapa sayang itu karena apa Sarima apa baik baik terus tulus For these children, decision to get married is a simple thing. They did it only out of interest toward each other. There was no pressure. It's just a common practice for them. These children also did not have other things to consider. All have quit schools before having marriage plan in mind, citing various reasons, such as lack of finance. Lolos di Sanawiyah. Enggak ada lagi kepikiran untuk melanjutkan jenjang yang lebih tinggi itu enggak ada lagi. Jadi pikirannya fokus ingin berumah tangga aja lagi. Nang kekurangannya masyarakat nih banyak kurang memahami. Karena masyarakat di sini kebanyakannya bila sudah bisa baca tulis sudah selesai kata dia. Naimah, Salimah and Rahmat do have a dream. With the girls wanted to be a doctor while the boy dreamed to be a soccer player. But the limited access and infrastructure to reach other regions hinder them to aim higher. In here, most children stayed at home, helping their parents to do house chores or become a fisherman. And eventually, it reflected the danger of child marriage, a structural poverty. Technology development also did not help much. Instead of broadening their knowledge, Baru village children only used it for social media and online games. Imagine being Naima, who lost her newborn baby without knowing how her young age could affect the pregnancy. Child marriage itself may cause complications in pregnancy and trigger the risk of other reproductive diseases including cervical cancer. Another child marriage risk relates to mental health since it could lead to domestic violence due to the emotionally unstable condition. Concerning the lack of information pattern, South Kalimantan government lean more on workshop and socialization to prevent child marriage practices. They have created pilot projects for women and children friendly village and family learning center, ensuring children surrounded by a safe and a developed environment. South Kalimantan government also signed agreement with women's empowerment and child protection officials at respective areas in 2019 to work together with solving the issue. They even prepared a prize for region which managed to decrease their child marriage practices. Improvement reached Baru Village to integrated health post to raise awareness on the danger of child marriages. Uh, kita harus juga sampai ke ke apa ke ke daerah uh, yang terisolasi atau terpinggirkan yang mana di sana untuk mendapatkan informasi dan edukasi itu sulit. Nah, jadi itulah juga nanti perlu adanya perpanjangan tangan dari pemerintah daerah untuk dapat menyampaikan informasi dan sosialisasi kepada masyarakat yang jauh tadi. Alhamdulillah dari tahun 2000 awal 2021 itu sudah ada remaja-remajanya itu yang melanjutkan baik ke SMK, ada juga sudah ini yang melanjutkan ke perguruan tinggi. Without focusing on marriage in mind, children have more opportunities to develop their skills. This year, two students in a Baru village have continued their education to bachelor's degree, adding a total of five students. While South Kalimantan government strive toward diminishing the child marriage practice until 8.74% in 2024. The central government has set 19 years old as the minimum age of marriage in Indonesia. They also aim to improve marriage dispensation system to complement Supreme Court Rules No. 5, Year 2019. It is a promising step towards the future. After all, the quality of a nation 
dependent on each individual. There is always a time for change when we have persistence. And persistence could turn into resistance when we do it together. So let's take part in stopping child marriage practice. Andira Putri and Anita Putri for C2Days. Thank you.